So let's listen to the reading from John 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? I will come again and take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know the way to the place where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and you have seen him. That particular reading spoke to me very differently for the first time um, because of our current situation with the coronavirus. Um, I don't know about you, uh, but being from uh, a black and ethnic minority background, I'm really quite concerned about some of the news items that I'm hearing, particularly about the fact that um, a lot of black and ethnic uh, and Asian uh, people are prone um, and predisposed to the infection. I'm surprised that it's taken such a long time to hear the call for an inquiry, but there is one and the bishops have recently requested uh, that a require, uh, an inquiry is made into this. I really appreciate that. Uh, because I think there are so many things that are happening uh, to black and Asian and minority ethnic folks, uh, particularly in this country. And due to the hostile environment in which we live, very little is done uh, about what is happening. So I know we haven't been given a date, but we wait with great anticipation that a review will actually take place. Now, what I wanted to share with you in my reflection was just briefly to say, those couple of words at the beginning of the reading, do not be afraid and do not let your hearts be troubled. Now at a time like this, when you realize that you're on the vulnerable list and um, you know things might be very difficult for you once the lockdown is finished and you're out and about, it's hard not to be fearful. And I know people may misinterpret this reading and thinking, oh, it's okay, Jesus said, don't be afraid, so we can you know, just go out and do as we wish. But I urge us as Christians, as we read this particular passage again, to think about what that fear does for us. Now, when Jesus says, don't be afraid, he is really sort of saying to us, don't be afraid, because if you are fearful, there are a number of things that will happen to you you will begin to doubt. You will begin to forget the importance of loving your neighbor. And most importantly, because you're fearful, you won't be able to share the good news of the gospel and the word that Jesus wants us to tell the world. So I think even though within my heart, I know that there is an element of concern about my health and my safety once lockdown is finished, I know that what Jesus is saying to me, that I must not be fearful because what he wants is for our hearts to be filled with love. And that love drives out that fear. And once that love is there, there is a sense of my neighbor, I care for my neighbor. I don't even have to ask who my neighbor is because I already know who my neighbor is. And through that love which Christ shows us, it means that we can begin to think about words that are positive, that are coming out of our current situation. We can think about community, we can think about caring. Um, and it is just so wonderful to hear people say that actually what they miss most of all is hugging the members of their family. Now that love that is shown is that's the love that Christ wants to have, for us to have in our hearts, not the fear that 
you know, we have to cross over, walk on the other side, but just to be very careful and to keep ourselves safe. So can I encourage you in all of this situation, do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be fearful because Jesus wants us to have a heart that is filled with love, that is caring and compassionate and supports those around us.